time, folks. Morning. It's not too terribly long after uh, shooting light here out in the Pennsylvania State Forest. I'm sitting at a spot here, a little bench looking down over an old river flat that uh, during bear season had a bunch of active scrapes on it. And uh, Saturday and Sunday, I was a little bit further south hunting uh, <clears throat> down in Clinton County, but the bucks were still rutting pretty hard there. So I was hoping that we could catch some of that action up here. And some of these scrapes would still be being maintained. I had uh, hoped to be up here tomorrow with my buddy Eric. Who, I don't know, probably most of you know. Because it seems like everybody does. And if you don't know him, you know me. So, two degrees of separation. Unfortunately, he got called for jury duty and is not allowed to leave the state in case they need him. So, uh, we'll be going to visit him at some point. But, I really like this spot. I can see Babs Creek from here. You can hear it very well. Um, and, uh, I'm hunting with my new Savage 1920. I say it's new. It's new to me. It's 95 years old. But it just has peep sights. And uh, basically my longest shot here is about 100 yards. But most of the shots are within 60, which is I'm pretty happy with. Um, that being said, I can see stuff coming through this narrow strip for at least a hundred um, with the snow cover and the creek in the background uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to hear you may have hear, heard the uh, pileated woodpecker um, in the background here too but. and hopefully you can hear me but I'll show you real quick what I'm looking at and then I'm gonna get to hunting can uh, see some of Babs Creek moving a little bit. you've all had a successful hunting season or I know a lot of this a lot of the country's wrapping up already we still got another week and a half here in Pennsylvania and uh, in New York as well but um, good luck to everybody who's not done yet and uh, I'll see you in the woods